lies, betrayal, heartache, the explosive and sexy scenes, all videotaped on hidden camera for the TV show that you know this guy knows all about. Welcome, everybody, Joey Greco from Cheaters. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. So you know when Joey is here, we got some hot clips. There's Sarah and Billy together for three and a half years. They have two children together. Sarah's ready to get married. Billy had the hots, apparently, for somebody else. Well, I think what's important to know is that this other woman was a woman that Sarah knew, and she was helping out, it was a friend of hers, that they let move in with them. Our detectives followed Billy until he arrived at a restaurant, and we see some quite tawdry behavior. Oh, my God. On this day, they did go to the market. We start to see some very interesting activity between the two of them as they have an impromptu photo shoot and I think it really is starting to offend some people around them. Oh, I can definitely see why. On this day, shortly after you leave for work, they retire oh. to another room. Oh my God. I'm not going to ask you to look at that if you don't want to, but I don't think I need to explain anything. I, I think I've seen enough, Joey. So Sarah's about to catch Billy in a big fat lie, apparently. He is saying one more time, he's playing bingo. Take a look. Bingo. Get the doors. Damn it. What's going on? Billy. What the oh. No, no. It's time for y'all to tell me the proof. No, uh, no. Yes. You tell her. I saw the video. Tell her. I saw the video. Tell her. Don't lie to my face. Okay, no, tell her. Do you want to tell her? Tell her Billy? Billy? Do you want to be with her? You know what? My house. Does that look like you? He loves me. He wants to be with me. No. He's told Oh no? Because because it's your it's your sofa. <laughs> no, you know, Watch out. You know what? Uh -uh. Watch out. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. No. Get out. Hell no. You get All right. the out. Alright, that's it. You'll be back. He was trying to convince her it wasn't him? Yeah, he was trying. All right. So who did he end up with? The woman who was uh, thrown out of the house? No, actually, they're not living together, but they're trying to work it out. They are? Yeah. Okay. Courtney was a devoted mother, a wife who was four months pregnant. Anthony was hardly home. He would play basketball on Mondays. Sundays, he played soccer. Saturdays, he went fishing. Yeah, you know, he was always hanging with his boys. Right. He never caught anything. Right. But more importantly, she found a receipt to a restaurant that she knew that she had never been to. Take a look at what the cheaters detectives found out. As our investigation started, we had a detective at the park. He moves over to the sideline, greets a young lady who was at the game watching. They spend a few moments in quiet conversation. He leans in, gives her a quick hug before he goes back to the game. Our detective followed Anthony as he arrived at a park where he typically plays basketball. He exits his car and gets into a car that was already waiting there for him. They leaned in. There's obviously some activity. It's gonna be all right. He goes back to the driver's side, leans in, gives her a quick kiss before he goes to participate in his games. I've put so much in this relationship. So then, of course, you have the confrontation. And the confrontation with all three of them comes on the basketball court. Anthony? What is going on? Who is this? Anthony, who is that? I'm his wife. I didn't, I'm pregnant with his child. I don't even know what, what the hell's going on. After four years, you're going to do this to me? Huh? You do know. Who is she? I don't know what's going on. You know, okay. I didn't know this lady was here. Uh, you know what? That's all. Right. Watch out, guys. This is what you've been doing every night. Every single night you tell me you leave and go play basketball. You're sitting up here with some slut. I cannot believe this. Get real. Well, we found out the truth, right? She was pregnant. Did she Four divorce him? Actually, he admitted his fault. She forgave him, and they, too, are working it out. Betty, this next story, married to this guy, Hank, for 35 years. And he was by her side while she was battling ovarian cancer. 
So as it turned out, Hank was cheating, and you won't believe who the other woman was. Watch. On this particular afternoon, he was followed to a restaurant. Once there, he meets this young lady to have lunch. Do you recognize this woman? That is Sue. And, uh, that's Sue my was private your, nurse. Was your nurse. That's her. That's her. They left the restaurant, and here you can see them share a kiss. On this day, he traveled until he arrived at a park. He walks up to a young lady who is already at the park waiting for him. They seem to be Gosh. having quite an afternoon. No. Your nurse <sighs> arrives. She has a few things, and they set sail. I can't imagine. I, know, I can't I know imagine this that's happening. The nurse? The nurse. She still wanted to come face to face with Hank and her former nurse. Watch. What's going on? I don't know. What is it? Hank! Do you have any explanation? What are you doing? What are you doing, what are you doing here? Doing, we haven't done a thing wrong. What are you doing here oh, with all these cameras and everything? How, how, how can you embarrass yourself and me like this? I'm not embarrassing you. Not me. You do that? I'm your wife. <laughs> hey, now. Get out of here. Get out of here, Sue. Get out of here. After 35 years? Get, just go. Take <laughs> cameras and get out of here. You can't do this. All right. What did you think was going to happen? How was it supposed to be? It wasn't supposed to be like this. I'm in love with him. He's in love with me. He's done everything he possibly could for her. It's over now. Okay. We thought How she was going to die. We thought she was going to die. You can't put this in a movie. Can you believe that? It's her fault. We she thought recovered. she was going yeah. to die. Did she dump Hank? Oh, yeah. She overcame cancer. She can overcome that. Joey Greco. Cheaters. We'll be back right after this. Erica wants to know is if Justin is cheating on her pregnant sister. I made a promise that I would take care of my sister. You want to say something to Ebony, didn't you? Yeah. Hell no. Anthony has no idea if his four kids are really his. You've been living a lie all these years. Anthony. For free tickets to the Mari Show, call 212-244-7545. We'll save a seat for you. Mari was brought to you in part by... Inventors. InventHelp can help you try to patent your idea and submit it to companies. Call 1-800-INVENTION for free information. When mucus causes chest congestion and coughing, it can be a late night. 